1924 was a very important year at Pintry because a lot of things happened, some of them good, some of them not so good. Um, Dunmore, his first wife, Alice, died in 1924. It was the year that he added the trophy room onto the manor house, and it was also the year that the octagonal dairy barn was built. As far as we know, the octagonal barn, which is right here, is the last surviving multi-sided barn in British Columbia. There were a number of them back east, some on the prairies, and there were a few in BC. But um, as I said, as far as we know, the, the last surviving one is this octagonal one here at Pintry. So we'll do a, a quick walk through and um, introduce you to the features of this somewhat unique um, dairy barn. The floors are all concrete, um, which was a fairly new innovation at that time, but it made cleaning and sanitation a whole lot easier. On this side of the barn, you will see the cow and calf pens. So each pen um, opened and inside um, there was a manger for um, grain and chopped hay and water container on the other side and the floors are all sloped so that anything um, any <laughs> anything at all um, would drain down into the channel that goes around the whole structure. The sanitation in the dairy barn was very important um, then as it is now. And the barn was equipped with its own um, hand basin and um, soap shelf. Anyone working in here had to make sure that their hands were perfectly clean before touching the cattle. On this side of the barn you can see the milking stanchions. So the cows to be milked would come in here and put their heads through the stanchions. There was food in front of them and water so they were quite content while they were being milked. You'll notice the width of the floor that the archers had to stand on, and it's actually not very wide. If you were to bring a modern Ayrshire cow into this barn, she would not fit, because the modern Ayrshire is considerably longer, larger, than the 1924 form. This um, trough that is suspended from the trackway overhead, this is the um, manure bucket and it was used to collect the aforementioned manure. It ran on a suspended um, track from the ceiling and at the doorway you could adjust the track by switching it so that either the, the cart went around the barn one more time to get a full load or if it was full then it would be sent out the doorway into the slurry pit. This manure bucket is the same, exactly the same as the original one would have been, but the original one was lost some years ago, so this one was um, supplied by friends at Nicola Ranch in Merritt. This is the original um, hand cart that was used to transport the milk from the dairy barn to the actual dairy itself, which is on the other side of Shorts Creek. Um, the wooden parts of this had deteriorated quite badly, and we had to actually reconstruct and restore the whole thing. And 
we are very grateful to Foothills Creamery and Calgary, uh, Alberta, for um, sponsoring the restoration of the milk cart. Once the Ayrshire cattle got established at Pintry, they did extremely well. And here you can see two of the uh, prize cows um, were milked here in, in the dairy barn. Here you get to see one of the most famous of the Ayrshires at Pintry. This is the young bull whose registered name was the noble Betsy Wiley. When you get into purebred stock, the names tend to be a little bit bizarre, um, depending on the animal's ancestry. Uh, Noble was indeed a prize Ayrshire bull. I think he lived here most, almost all his life. One of the early imports um, from Scotland was this um, prize cow whose name was Lucky Girl. And here you can see her outside the um, dairy barn. Uh, you'll notice that Lucky Girl has her full set of horns. Um, it was customary to remove the horns of adult cows um, because they were in fact quite dangerous to people looking after the cattle and also to each other when they were sort of head to head at a feeding trough. Um, it's not that the cows were um, aggressive, it's just that um, simply moving their head could uh, cause serious injury. The cardinal dairy barn that we are in, and outside of the um, loafing pens and corrals, the um, feeding racks, the hayshed granary. Um, the hayshed granary is still standing, but all of this um, building in the foreground has now disappeared. 